But y'all know me, y'all know what I represent, full movement only. And um, you know how it is in life every now and then. Dedication ain't there for me. And even even I need to be inspired. So uh, I want to big up my cousin, Brandon Simpson, Olympian, 400 meter track star in Jamaica. He a legend and he made a decision in his life to get back into the track world. And for me, that was real motivational. Something that, you know, I needed that motivation right now in my life. And I want to big him up for that. And I was like, yo, this got to be documented. Like, I got to document this whole journey. Unfortunately, with the last minute injury that he had, some politics, the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo couldn't happen. But that don't even matter because we, he's shooting for now, he's shooting for the 2022 uh, World Champs in Oregon. So we're gonna take you behind the scenes. We're we gonna get into that whole journey as he preps. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into his diet. We're gonna ask the tough questions that, that the people want the answers from. We're gonna get into his life behind, outside of the track world. And we're gonna do it all through the eyes of Drake Scuffs, Top Ace Crew. So I landed, landed in Kingston. My cousin just picked me up. I'm thinking I'm about to go chill, relax a little bit. This guy bring me straight to training. That's where we're going. That's how I committed. Instantly, we come to training. Where we at right now? This is Ewing, University of the West Indies. This is all the journey that is kind of unfolding as it happened. I literally bought a block last week, a starting block last week, and just said, hey, come up and let's, uh, let me just start. So for those who don't know, you used to run the 400. What's the what you think the biggest difference is between the four and the one? So a 400 is just a long, a long version of a hundred. Oh. So it's very painful because you run out of oxygen really quickly, and you're pretty much dying as you come home because you have no oxygen in your body. Uh, a sprint, you have to be able to get up to your full speed within that hundred meters. Um, and so there's a little bit of a, of a difference in strategy as how, you, as how you accomplish that. So basically, if you if you don't want to die while you're running <laughs> and come back alive, this ain't for you. Yeah, your goal should be to die and see your soul ahead of you while you're running that's and try to get this soul back in your body. So that's I'm guessing that's what you're going to try to do. Okay, so there's two things you're trying to maximize. You're trying to maximize your stride length and your, your stride frequency. So you want your stride to be as far as possible and as fast as possible. So that's what you're working for. My cousin got some believers. He's out here working hard, as you can see. This is a lot of hard work, you gotta understand right now. We in the heat, it's hot, and they training on grass. If you can train on the grass, rubber track and you're gonna move that much faster so it's like you can almost call this resistance yes 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 something like that something like that you're ready to come and you're for other fighters ready on your market bam everything fine yeah you feel good right away you celebrate for the race at least yeah now that you have a fun that's right it's all about the human feeling when you're going to come from you're going to see you're going to run from the grass to the middle you're going to see you're going to see you're going to work you're going to work you're going to work discipline y'all discipline that's my word of the day that's what I saw today, discipline. Cause it takes a lot to get up, tell yourself, to tell your own self to come train without having somebody tell you. That takes a lot. To wake yourself up, to come work out without nobody telling you, it takes a lot. I feel like you got, you, you already a step ahead. And I think you might do it big tonight. You 